There are so many AI writing apps, but only a handful that are specifically designed for researchers and academics. And here are my favorites. The first one you need to know about is PaperPal. Now with PaperPal, when you sort of like sign up to their subscription, you also get all of these other things, but it's important that they do have kind of a semi-writing service, okay? This means that they can provide structures, they can provide sort of hints, but they don't explicitly write stuff for you, but I'm going to show you why I think this is an AI writer because when you click here onto new web document it'll take you to this normal like word processing layout and here it says start typing or pasting text. Now paper pal really is about editing but I'll show you across here where we've got all these other options. All these other options mean that we have the ability to create templates and when we have templates we've got outlines. Outlines for a research article, case report, essay, statement, of purpose and this is where the AI writer component really really helps academics. Look at all of the different things you can do here. Um, so let's say I want to start a research article. I click up here, I say I want the introduction and I'm in these uh, areas so I'm in uh, physical sciences and I want to say okay I want to start a research article about transpolarant electrodes. Okay, so two, two words, let's see what it does with two words. Ensure that your text contains a minimum of 10 words. Okay, so that's what I really want. Eight, uh, ooh, um, uh, novel materials. There we are, <laughs> gotcha. So generate there. And so one thing I like about this is that uh, it doesn't do all of the stuff for you. It's an important part of the writing process, which is the first step of creating a structure from which you can sort of like build upon. So here we are. This is all of the stuff that it sort of like said I should include in the introduction. So let's just write introduction here as a little um, placeholder, donk. And then underneath, I'm going to say insert. So here we are. This is the introduction. So it's saying I need something like talking about how transparent electrodes have gained significant attention in recent years. Then the development of transparent electrodes is crucial for the crucial for the advancement of OPV devices, flexible displays, blah 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 blah. All of that stuff is really important. This is the structure that you should follow when writing an academic introduction. And you can see it's just given me you know little options to build upon. And so here it says what are the properties and performance of transparent electrode materials uh, used in OP devices and flexible display? So here it's asking me like, what is my actual research question? What my aim and objective is? And my hypothesis is at the end of that. So this is how I would use this as an AI writer. You can see we've got a load of other options as well. We've got case reports, essay, statement of purpose. We can brainstorm. So here it says um, like, I need something. I don't know quite what I need. There's nothing more intimidating than like a blank page. So here we've got all of the brainstorming option. How can paper pal help? Okay, or the voices. There we go. Okay, so brainstorm. Now it's going to go away and it's going to brainstorm ideas for me. And here we are. This is where it's a great writing tool because it doesn't give you like the text because let's face it, we can all be a little bit lazy and if it just spills out text, it's so easy just to copy and paste it across and be like, ooh, I'm done. You can even convince yourself that you're done, even though you know you should go through it, read it, um, put in citations, references, paraphrase it for your own work, all of that sort of stuff, but we don't because we're lazy. So here, this is sort of like not allowing you to cheat. So here we are. That's how we can use uh, Paper Pal as an AI writer for academia. We can also see we've got title, abstract, keyword, summary, study highlights, email, and also if you're emailing a particular journal, you've got all of the options down here. Absolutely love it. I would use this as a first port of call for creating the template that I would use to write any sort of like academic document and even emails to a journal. So that's paper pal. What's next? You'll like it. The next tool is Jenny.ai. Now Jenny.ai has gone through a load of iterations over the last year. They've really cleaned up the interface and I love what they're doing at the moment. Here is the interface. When you log in, you click create a new document. This is what we've got. It says, what are you writing today? And it asks you to give you a prompt and it will tell you here whether or not it's a weak prompt or a good prompt. So let's start writing and see if we can get it to sort of like kick out something that's incredibly useful for us to build upon. Five hours later. Oh, people. Okay, great prompt. Thanks, Jenny. Here we are, start writing. Let's review the attractiveness of beards on YouTube. 
And here we are, this is where now Jenny sort of like starts to come into its own because it starts spilling out stuff and saying, do you want this? Do you want this? Do you want this? It can be a little bit overwhelming in my experience, but here we are, we can just accept that. And it's already given us a reference down here. And uh, it is a really great way. There we are, now it's given me more and I can accept that. Um, it's just a way of like putting you in the driver's seat by giving you options about what to include and what not to include. Um, once we sort of like have a look at this, um, there are loads of AI commands down here. We've got continue writing, write introduction, write conclusion, write opposing arguments, write more with more depth, and we've got AI chat. Now one thing I would do over here, first of all, before I do anything, is ask AI chat that asks Jenny to generate an outline for me. Okay, here is the output. Here's everything I would want to put into this particular document. So I'm gonna copy and paste it here, and then you can see I've then now got a structure. Introduction, A, and then I've got the role of YouTube in shaping beauty and grooming standards. Um, and then I've got the sort of different sort of uh, ways that I could structure it. So that A was meant to be there. Overview of the importance and then saying B, the concept. So I like to sort of like just put this into bullet points that I can then build out on, which is just such a great way to start yourself thinking, not only about the structure, but also how the story of a particular bit of academic writing will flow. You start broad, and you get narrower and narrower. So the fact that this spills out information is really important, but getting, um, you know, ask Jenny to create a structure is just as important in those early stages. And you can see I've already now got a um, structure that I can build upon. Continue writing. Jenny is writing. There we are, here we go. So. Oh, it's going, it's going. So with the settings, you do have the ability to turn it into a tool so that you are working at your best. I would probably initially to turn off autocomplete um, and just work on that broader structure and then putting in my own words and then using AI commands to get all of the different uh, sort of like enrichments to my text and then also using the site option. This site option is really great because it means that you don't have to go to something like size space or anything like that to, um, Oh, no, that's not what I want. Perception of beers in different culture. Now it's saying, State University of New York, learning how to apply lipstick and set their hair in curlers from their mothers. What most boys grew up learning. Okay, well, that's kind of on track, but not quite. So you can add citations. You can do stuff um, that just makes writing so much easier. And dare I say it, almost fun. Another tool you should know about is Yomu. Yomu AI is very much like Jenny AI. Here we can create a new document and here's it's slightly different and it does ask you to create a structure as you are sort of like setting up your document, which I really like. Oh, why can't I spell today? Okay, there we are. And then I've got Outline and ideas. Yes, that's exactly what I want. Oh, I can only click one. What do I want? What do I want? Oh, an outline. So now it's going away and it's creating that uh, first draft structure for me. And that was very, very quick. You can see that it's quite um, a significant amount of text and structure. The science behind beard smell and its impact on attractiveness, culture and historical perspective on beards and their smells. So it stayed very, very much on brief and it's given me a chance to kind of get that structure in place early on. And so now when I start writing, I can see document AI, write an introduction. So Yomu is writing. Now it's writing an introduction where it says this, you can see it's quite a big um, amount of text really, because Jenny was sort of like, you know, sentence by sentence by sentence, and it can be hard to kind of like keep track of the overall theme of what you're writing when it's just spilling stuff out. But here, it's got much bigger sort of like text blocks that it's generating. And overall, I think it's done a really fantastic job at sort of like that first draft. So here, I like it. I haven't seen anywhere where I can put in references like in Jenny, but I can export into LaTeX, Microsoft Word, where I I can add my own references later using Zotero or Mendeley or something like that. Um, and you have got all of the different kind of options for sharing, saving, and creating a custom style. So overall, this is a great tool if you just want to sort of like get that first draft out of the way and then you can work on refining it with other tools a little bit after. If you like this video, go check out this one where I talk about unleashing the power of Paper Pal AI for academic writing and increasing the success rates of your papers when you submit them to journals, go check it out now.